So as a massive Sunset Beach fan, I have wanted to see the in crowd for so many years as it's got our very own Meg Cummings, aka Susan Ward in this film and she is just absolutely spectacular. I mean her character couldn't be any further apart from Meg Cummings but it's actually really really cool to see her here. It is a bit of a shame actually now looking back as the cast of Sunset Beach which is so incredibly talented and it's just a shame that they just aren't mega Hollywood A-listers right now as they really should have been as like I said they were just absolutely formidable but anyway back to this movie it's a bit of a wannabe scream and it feels really really 90s I mean everybody wanted to do their own interpretation of Scream back in the day as it was just such a sensation and thrillers really were the rage back in the day and it was really really cool to see this movie I mean it was absolutely slated at the time with only getting 2% on Rotten Tomatoes. It's got a bit of a Valentine feeling in there as well if you've watched that thriller movie, absolutely incredible in terms of focusing on a really rich and elite group of characters and seeing which one of them is the dark evil person that is causing all of this chaos to take place. So it's really, really brilliant. I think how they've written all of the different characters is actually really, really brilliant as you really are able to understand where all of them individually are coming from and you even get to see some flashbacks to the past which really does add so much in terms of helping your understanding of these different characters and like I said they do some really unexpected dark evil erotic things at points as well and I just think it's really really brilliantly written for them and all of the thriller moments are actually really really good Typically, with these type of thriller movies, I just want to see more and more and more. And of course that is the case here, but I actually think it's really, really well paced and well written as all of the intense moments I feel like last as long as they need to without overstaying their welcome and without being too short and cut down. And looking back now as well, I think it's also a really interesting lesson from a mental health perspective as the main lead character, Adrian, who is pretty much in every single scene of this movie, is recently released from a mental institution and the movie really questions who is the real villain, this person that has left this mental asylum or somebody else and of course this is where Susan Ward's character comes in who is called Brittany and she is the it girl in this world and it's really really interesting because she just has so many similarities to Annie Richards who I feel like Susan Ward always wanted to play and Brittany really does run this town she has got so much history with this town and everyone really looks up to her everyone wants to be her and like I said I just feel like this movie is really really well packaged it's got incredible thriller moments in there like I said loads of erotic moments in there too and some teen angst moments in there as well so it comes together really really nicely and I just think the final moments are just really really cool and actually looking at a lot of movies nowadays that have a bit of a dark thriller vibe I feel like they took a lot of lessons from this film and I always think that a lot of these movies and TV shows nowadays take a lot of templates and a lot of blueprints that Sunset Beach set back in the day which I think is so 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 cool. I mean some of the characters are incredibly stereotypical and they really do focus on these rich elite character groups and how twisted they all are. I love that we got Matthew Settle in here as well as of course his career out of all of the different actors actually in this movie I feel like he has had the most successful and consistent and longest career out of all of them and of course we now know him as Rufus Humphrey from the brilliant Gossip Girl series. I mean there's zero diversity in this movie which was actually pretty common unfortunately back in those days and of course it really does show how we've moved on as a society so much since then and I actually love it how the final few moments of this movie really does show a bit of a creepy ending and it does kind of feel like a lot of post credit scenes would do nowadays so I feel like you know this movie really was actually pretty ahead of its time but like I said right in the beginning I am just incredibly biased as of course I am such a big Sunset Beach fan so I just feel like I went into this movie probably with rose tinted glasses on but anyway I did actually really really enjoy it and so for all of those reasons I am going to give it a solid 6 out of 10. Now I'd love to hear what you thought of the in crowd so please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.